There is no wonder to compare with the sight of humpback whales swimming free in their ocean habitat. They are gentle, air-breathing giants diving into the depths with consummate grace and power. They symbolize the significance of life in the sea. Whales Forever is the motto of the Connecticut Cetacean Society, a small volunteer organization to help save the whale. I am Robbins Barstow, the Society's Volunteer Executive Director. Cetacean is the scientific name for all whales, dolphins, and porpoises. There are over 80 different species of these special marine mammals, from the small four-foot harbor porpoise to the giant blue whale, 100 feet long, the largest creature ever to have lived on planet Earth. The best known of all the world's dolphins is the bottlenose dolphin, featured in films, TV, and aquariums. It grows up to more than nine feet in length, and it ranges widely around the world. Its brain is as large as the human brain. Groups of wild bottlenose dolphins like these in the North Atlantic seem to love leaping out of the water as they skim the surface with consummate grace and abandon. These dolphins use sonar or echolocation to find the small fish on which they feed. They have been observed, like these in Long Island Sound, to corral a school of fish, keeping the fish bunched together in a tight underwater ball to serve as a portable pantry from which any dolphin could snatch a meal whenever it wanted. These dolphins would take turns swimming around the fish to keep them packed tightly together. Like their Atlantic cousins, these Pacific bottlenose dolphins seem to delight in showing off their exquisite forms to cruise ship passengers right next to the boat. Occasionally, one or two of these wild dolphins would leap out of the water as if in sheer exhilaration. These same dolphins, when trained in captivity, can leap as high as 20 feet up in the air from their saltwater tank. At the Miami Seaquarium in 1959, our family was able to see for the first time up close what a wonderfully powerful, beautiful, and graceful creature this is. And to observe the obvious intelligence evidenced by its skillful basketball playing, Then I had the unforgettable experience of actually playing deck tennis with a dolphin. I threw this little red rubber ring into the water, and the dolphin used its beak to throw it back to me. I threw the ring in again, and the dolphin again returned it. It was an interspecies game. Seeing demonstrations of such wondrous powers by intelligent fellow creatures like these at Sea Life Park in Hawaii raises the question, is it morally right for humans to keep them imprisoned in captivity for the sake of our entertainment and profit? Now finally we come to the great sperm whale. The sperm whale is the largest toothed animal on Earth. Male sperm whales grow up to 18 meters, or 60 feet in length, and they can weigh over 50 tons. Sperm whales are air-breathing mammals, inhabiting deep waters in all oceans. Different in appearance from other species of whales, the sperm whale has a massive barrel of a head, nearly one-third the length of its body, with a long, narrow lower jaw containing a double row of teeth the size of cucumbers. It is capable of diving more than a mile down into the ocean depths, searching for squid and cuttlefish. It uses a kind of sonar or echolocation to find in the pitch blackness of the deep the giant squid which appear to be its favorite prey. The sperm whale has the largest brain of any creature that has ever lived on Earth. This is a glass model of the brain of a bottlenose dolphin. And this is a model of a sperm whale's brain. The dolphin's brain is comparable in size to the human brain and weighs about four or five pounds. The sperm whale brain weighs up to 20 pounds, four or five times the weight of our human brain. 
For over 150 years, great whaling ships from ports like Mystic in New London, Nantucket in New Bedford, sailed around the world in pursuit of sperm whale oil. In the 20th century, however, commercial whaling became an entirely different kind of operation. All species of great whales were slaughtered mercilessly by the hundreds of thousands, bringing right, gray, blue, fin, and humpback whales to the very brink of extinction. The sperm whale, too, remained a prime target, and in the year 1974 alone, by international agreement, 23,000 of the world's largest brained creatures were brutally killed by modern whale hunters. During the 1970s and 80s, worldwide protests like this in Trafalgar Square in London finally led to the establishment in 1986 by the International Whaling Commission of a global moratorium on all commercial whale killing. This multination regulatory body meets annually to determine whale conservation issues and it has kept the ban in effect for more than 20 years. Japan, Norway, and Iceland have continued so-called research whaling in defiance of the IWC ban, but around the world and even in these countries, going out in whale-watching boats to see whales alive has become increasingly popular. In fact, whales are now worth more alive than dead. We filmed these sperm whales in 1991 on a whale-watching trip 100 miles out in the Atlantic Ocean on the edge of the continental shelf. Sperm whales are readily recognizable by their unusual spout. It shoots out forward in a low diagonal direction from the single blowhole on the top left side of their head. It was exciting to see these clouds of white spray suddenly emerge from the dark horizontal form. Off in the distance, we were able to see and to film in slow motion a sperm whale breach. It hurled 40 or 50 tons of body weight up into the air until it was almost entirely clear of the surface, then fell back into the sea with a tremendous splash. Even though distant, this sight was an exciting thrill. We could hear the sound as we listened, we could imagine in our mind's eye a mother and calf swimming together below the surface, as shown in these underwater pictures taken in the Bahamas by West Hartford scuba diver and photographer Pachi Pastor. Seeing these live sperm whales peacefully resting on the ocean surface made us realize why more and more humans of all races and nations around the globe now deeply believe that it is morally wrong to kill a whale. Today, there are new threats to whale protection that require further concerted action to save the whales and to keep these gentle and sentient fellow creatures from being killed for money. There is no wonder to compare. Thank you. 